his pants up. <laughs> you trying to rob a sick man? I was trying to help. <laughs> Bullshit, you. Buzz. You move and I'll shoot. Absolutely overrun with rats. Worse than last time. Much, much worse. I can't get near the damn things. Scurrying around. But I need them gone. I'll pay double from the last time, huh? Yeah? Jesus, fella. Won't say no to the money, though. Oh, thank God. Head in there, but please, please, try not to destroy the... Well, shit. Thank you, mister. You're in this, that's for sure. You got it. How are you? Really? I better be the last of them. I don't think I can handle otherwise. I'm sure... Nah, this is too much. Look at all these things. Disgusting. Hello, Professor... Professor... Andrew Bell the Third. That's it. So, the Chief says you can test out your machine, oh. pending the usual formalities. And what are they? Uh, finding a suitable, uh, subject. Ah, funny you should mention. This fella here, he seems sturdy enough, and he's guilty as sin. Wilson J. McDaniels. Wanted for murder, bigamy, and... Immoral animal husbandry. What's that? The mind shudders. Here, find him for me and help me put him out of his misery. coming together wonderfully. The final piece of the puzzle.
Well, I got a special treat for you. Born free. I was born free, goddamn you. We're going for a walk. Up you get. Take me to damn court then. This ain't America. We ain't free no more. Can't raise no animals, take no wives. All I did was graze my livestock. Married them that needed marrying, and killed any that tried to stop it. I ain't wrong. It's you that's wrong. We was trying to live free. And you came along and laid waste. Take me in, just take me to the jailhouse. You know, you ain't going to court. You ain't going to jail either. I'm taking you to a professor I know. What in hell are you talking about? You're a lucky man, mister. You get to be part of a great experiment. Shut up! Huh? You ain't gonna die needlessly is what I mean. Nope. Your death's gonna be an uh, important step in the advancement of human knowledge. What the hell are you saying, mister? This professor, Andrew Bell III, I believe he said. He's a little odd, maybe harebrained, but I got no reason to doubt the quality of his work. What's this damn professor got to do with anything? Well, he wants to try this new electricity chair on him to kill you. Humane. No! Yeah. Well, he's gonna strap you into this contraption and run a large electric current through your system. It's got something to do with moonshine. Don't quite know what. <laughs> That's why he's a professor and I'm the bounty catcher. <laughs> well, as I said, I can pass on his assurances that this is a most humane way to go. It'll be just like, well, like switching off a light. Uh, they wouldn't let you do this to me. They wouldn't. Oh, they would. And we got a permit and everything. You was in animal husbandry, am I right? You ever seen lightning strike livestock, Mr. McDaniel? Now, I ain't ever seen the actual impact, but I came across a pasture sometime after. The storm had just cleared, and there was smoke in the air, the smell of burning hair. You know, there must have been a dozen head of cattle lying there, piled up, mangled. Strange scars across their backs, legs, and necks. It's half like they was burned, Half like the skin was ripped off.
professor will be real pleased to meet you. <gasps> no! Here, I got him. Come on! <sighs> Don't be shy now. Let's go. Bring him over here. Now, where's my money? Um, money? Yeah, for all the running around I've been doing. Oh, well, once they buy my humane electric ending facilitator, there'll be money enough for you, sir. Well, let's hope. All right, let's get our, our, um, our poor unfortunate ready for the demonstration. Oh, do come and watch. It'll be amazing. Come along. Do I look like a coward to you? I mean, obviously I do, because I look like that milksop there, but tis no matter. Can you help? Maybe. See? Even he is sick of hearing your nonsense, you afterthought of a child. I apologize, sir, for his smell. Why don't we come back here? To somewhere more conducive to displays of utter gallantry and deep... Seated inadequacy. Well, what did you have in mind? Shoot a bottle off my head, like William Tell. This is getting silly. Very silly. The man is a moron. <laughs> Shoot one off mine instead. Uh, I'm the brave one. I'm not scared. Uh, I'm a good shot, but... I won't even flinch. I don't want to hurt you, boys. Oh, I can't lose. <laughs> Either I'll prove my masculinity or die and be spared his company. Come, sir, please. Okay, then. <sighs> Listen, just make sure everyone knows you asked me to do this. Of course, of course, of course. You boys are ridiculous. <sighs> Okay. Don't think too much about it. Just shoot. Please, put us out of our misery. Good shot, sir. I didn't bat an eye. What are you fools doing? Try not to kill anyone. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> what was? I feel like we didn't even do anything. Oh, of course you didn't. We all know you're hardly sentient at all. Another round, smaller bottles, sir. Please. What? Uh, I don't know. Please, this creature is unbearable. He needs silencing. <sighs> I'll do my best. As long as she witnesses that I'm doing this under duress. Oh, you boys are so silly. We're waiting for you, mister. Fire away. Ready? Nothing to fear at all. Are you sure you can hit those little bottles? Shoot mine. Yes! <sighs> now I'll stand on one leg. Me too. You keep shooting, sir, and this time you kill the beast. He emerged fully formed from the swamps, Helen. Silence, you blackguard. Sir, shoot the wretch. I'm ready. You're deranged. Shoot away, sir, my bottle and his brains, if you please. At least I have brains. Shoot, sir, while our courage holds. Now is as good a time as any. Go for it. Hold still. Excellent. Whew. Now do one while I hop. 
doing while I turn somersaults? Uh, shoot me! Oh, give me the gun. Let me shoot him. Uh, for all mankind. Uh, I think me and the lady have had enough. Oh, I don't blame you, sir. This man's tongue, I would run too if I could. Here, for your skills and talents. Oh, thank you. Now, brother, I am going to walk Helen home. Don't follow us. She has an elderly aunt, and I fear the sight of you could finally finish her off. Helen, is this creep bothering oh, you? You two, come along. Oh, no, there aren't two. There's me and the lizard man. Please, my angel, do not aggregate us both together. Oh, you are too much. Too much, too much. No, my sweet. I saw a picture of this city back east. They got these buildings. Morning, yeah, sir. What been said. Howdy. Hey, I'm looking for some fellas sojourned around here. Boy Calloway and a rider called Levin. Drunk Boy Calloway. This bar's got bullet marks to remember him by. Last I heard, they was in Saint Denis. Had rooms on a riverboat there. Saint Denis on a riverboat? Oh, okay then. I wouldn't drink here though. Get on to Saint Denis and have you some sazerac. Hello, boy. Uh, ready? <laughs> Wait. Hell. You okay, boy? Okay then, girl. Hi there. Hey, buddy. Good to see you again, friend. I've only gone and forgotten your name. But worse than that, I've forgotten my own name, too. It happens to me. You ever forget your name, mister? Sure. See? We're made for each other. I mean, as friends. I knew it! There's a big crazy fella with a gun, and I'm a little crazy fella. Can't afford a gun no more. Stick with him, Jimmy, I said. And then I, I said, your name ain't Jimmy, it's Mickey. And then the fella I was talking to in my head, even he didn't want to talk to me no more. I'll see you around. I've gotten real confused. Okay, then. How do you do? Yeah! <laughs> Help the blind! Help a blind man! Take this. You are not who you think you are, sir. Which is lucky. All right, friend. Hey there, girl. 
I have nothing more for you now. Go use what you know. Don't end up like me. King. Of course they're King. Said I would. There's a foreman. His name is Danbury. There's the files in the office above the refinery room. It's that window with the blind drawn up. I see. If the files are as incriminating as we believe, Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of me, son. I don't intend for them to know I'm coming. What will the files say? There'll be a report from Leyland Oil Development Company. And you got the money? Yes. Any ideas how I... Sneak into this place? You could crawl under the fence or hide in a wagon. They keep rolling in. I'm gonna take a look. If there's a problem, call for me. I thought the whole point was that this had nothing to do with you. Ideally. If you are quick, you could climb into the back of that wagon. Meet the early train to Saint Denis. Okay. Better get a move on then. Be damn Barry. What? Will you be quiet? Need a file by the Leland Oil Development Company. 
one about the oil near Wapiti? Damn, Barry. Think, man. A mind is a terrible thing to lose. Especially over such a nice <laughs> floor as this. It's here! It's here! Good, Danbury. Real good. They'll give you a promotion for this. Nope. Danbury. Danbury? Danbury, you okay? Tell the guard you're fine. Yes. All's fine. Now stay quiet. My head office will send me back to get you. Fellas. Now, we won't tell you again. Just in time. I was happy to watch some of that oil burn. So you met Mr. Danbury? Yes, don't worry. He was very obliging. I thought you wasn't getting involved. Thought you were going to enter and leave silently. Thank you. You saved my life. Thank you. I hope. Well, I don't know what I hope. But who knows? Maybe these will be of some use. Here's your money. Thank you. 